Hi everyone, I'm making this video to help everyone understand how Glaze's fourth ability works because I've noticed a lot of misinformation about it lately and it's making it confusing for people to know how they should be making their builds around it. To make a point, I'm showing you this Devourer kill with a Python that only has fire rate, accuracy, and recoil mods. It only takes me around three to four more seconds than my basically fully built python as you can see in the second clip. So Massacre adds a flat damage number to every shot of your gun. It's not affected by your gun's crit chance or damage or anything like that. There will be two separate damage variables, more if you have an element on, and the other is the flat damage that is the same no matter what weapon you're using besides using the gun that is for your reactor. So if you use a fully kitted sniper, or if you use a level one pistol, the flat damage number will be exactly the same. The thing that does change about the gun's damage is that it changes from firearm attack to non-attribute damage, but, but almost every enemy in the game has the same amount of defense and non-attribute resistance, so the number shouldn't change. The only outliers there seem to be is with Pyromancer and Gluttony. Pyromancer takes more damage from skill and his defense is way higher than his non-attribute resistance So I'm pretty sure you just do more damage in your alt with the gun damage as well And for gluttony he takes less damage from skills for some reason So out of massacre the gun damage number will be higher because massacre is a flat damage number It basically pigeonholes glay into always using fast rate of fire weapons the only time that this is different is with Demonic Sanguification, where you could use a really high damaging sniper to charge up the bullet. But say you do 40,000 damage of skill power per a shot, if you're using a 1 round per a minute gun or a 999 round per minute gun, they are both gonna have that same flat damage number. So you're gonna get that 40k number out more the faster your rate of fire is. This is why the Blue Blood Bloomer SMG actually has potential to be better than the Python if you do not have a God Roll Reactor for Python, but you have a Purple Reactor for non-attribute dimension that has cooldown and damage versus Colossus. So the only thing stopping the Blue Blood Bloomer from being the best SMG in the game for Massacre is the fact that it is a purple weapon, so you lose the 20% extra damage on your reactor, but it actually comes extremely close to Python's damage out. It kind of makes her ultimate useless for so many other guns, and then all other guns become useless because they just can't put out the same damage. The only guns that come close early is Vestigial Organ, and currently Greg's because of its unique ability. Also makes some of your guns worse, even with the flat damage number, because for explosive rounds, for some reason, it basically halves the damage that it does, so it's useless with launchers. For tactical rifles, it only takes the damage from one bullet out of the burst, so if your gun shoots three bullets, it is only doing one bullet worth of damage. For beam rifles, it takes the base charge damage instead of the fully charged damage, so again, useless. And for shotguns, it takes one pellet out of the pellet. So if your shotgun shoots 15 pellets, it does one single pellet worth of damage. So just completely useless. I would love to see this change. I actually want to give feedback specifically for changing this to Nexon because it is completely pigeonholed all of her massacre builds into just the fastest rate of fire guns you could get. Like imagine, imagine if you used it with a tactical rifle and the pistol actually shot out a little burst, you know, or if you used a shotgun and it became like a sawn off shotgun and actually shot out all of the pellets out of it. That would be awesome. Or even a launcher and you just shoot little explosive rounds that actually do AOE damage. That would be really cool too. But right now, yeah, you basically only want to use it with high rate of fire guns. You could use it with snipers, and it's not really going to lower your damage or anything. And actually may make it easier to hit points because you don't have to like zoom in and unzoom all the time. I've seen some people think that Massacre takes the crit chance from your gun. It does not. The crit chance is the 5% crit chance that Glay has natively. But yeah, that's how it works. Mental focus is still probably best in slot for this, just because of holding the 150% firearm attack is so much extra attack. But it does lower your fire rate by 20%, so it really depends on how much you are boosting your skill power. If you have a Luna with you, I think it's probably not the best, but if you don't have a Luna with you and say you have an Enza with you, Mental Focus is probably still the best. That is how Glaze Ultimate works. I hope this helps you guys understand it better so you can build around her better. Yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I will see you guys on live on Twitch.tv slash GameStager. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow, whatever. GameStager everywhere. Peace.